black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today we have a bit of a strange combo. I don't know if this works, but you know, we're using up what's in the fridge. We're on the uh, semi struggle bus meal. Life is becoming the struggle bus these days. We're all feeling it, I do, I do believe. But uh, this stuff, <laughs> Heinz spaghetti, secretly I love it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to hate on it. It is delicious. Um, they were also three for five dollars. So I was like, sure, I'll get them because I do love them. But, anyways, using up uh, the last of some bacon. So we don't have a ton of bacon in this BLT, but it is a banging BLT on sourdough toasted, lots of mayo, salt on the tomatoes iceberg lettuce some thick cut tomato it's more of a toasted tomato than anything with a little bacon but anyways i've got this uh like i said the spaghetti here and it's kind of like <laughs> udon like i don't know the or shanghai noodles i should say like it's this thick this thick noodle and i melted uh some mozzarella cheese on top and it's swimming in that sauce right now so that's, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. i got a leaning tower of BLT, so maybe I'll have to kind of strike this down momentarily just because I don't want it to tumble all over the place. But, uh, yeah, we can do that. we just put one in the back for now, and we know that it's, it's a two-man piece show. Oh, no, we got lettuce falling now. Such a weird perfectionist. I hate when things fall and get messy and all that type of crap. So anyways, maybe zoom in just a little bit here. And speaking on the struggle bus, I'm going to have a conversation today that I realized that I was like, oh shit, I could talk about that. It's actually about another creator from TikTok named, uh, he's not struggling at all. Uh, on this side though, a little bit, <laughs> but um, uh, he rates the, he uh, uh, eats by couge, a cougine. I like him, I think he's a dope creator, but I just have some shit to talk about. Anyways, eats by couge, shout out him, he's dope. He basically does, uh, he blew up on TikTok, he's mainly food reviews in the streets of New York, uh, he's fast, he's funny, he's quick-witted, it's, uh, he does, the, like, the don't care, brush your hair, or whatever it is, like, his tagline, and he's always kind of dropping funny jokes, he's super New Yorker, um, good content, um, but it's that TikTok content, that fast content, and, uh, you know, he had his come up and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, like he was working at a deli. He quit the deli to just do his, uh, do his content, TikTok. And, uh, but he makes, you know, he's getting deals with brands and shit and he's whatever. And he's fl flying out to do collabs with people. And that's all well and good for him. But what I'm saying is, is uh, I'm mainly saying this because one of my, I listen to a lot of comedy podcasts and I love comedy stand-up specials. I love comedy. I would like love to get into comedy in some capacity somehow in, the, in my life. I just think comedy is a really... Fun, cool thing, good avenue. And uh, I like Two Bears, One Cave. I love Burt Kreischer. I like YMH, your mom's house studios, all that. Anyways, I guess Burt Kreischer caught wind of his videos. And got addicted to them and reached out to him and then they were in correspondence
Mm. And Bert invited him to the podcast like next next time he's in LA, so he was out in LA col- collaborating with other content or t- TikTokers. Can't speak today. And did Burt Kreischer's podcast, which, of course, I listen to because I like them both. I like Kujin, and I like Burt. And on the podcast, I learned more details about his story, right? But on the podcast, he was, like, so, like, nonchalant. He, it's, it's his personality. He's very just relaxed, laid back, which is cool. And he's, like, laid back, nonchalant. And Bert's all excited because Bert's just excitable. And uh, they're just talking and whatnot, and he's like, yeah, so I was working at the deli, then, you know, my TikTok blew up, and then I quit the deli to focus on the TikTok, and he was like, you know, now I just make a few videos here and there, and, uh, you know, I do the, I get the deal, I get a bunch of deals coming, he's like, I do the ones I want to do. Through brands and sponsors. And, I go around and collab with people, but he's like, it's fun, but you know, it's not that serious. I'm just kind of living on easy mode or whatever. If I, like, have you got offers for TV deals? He's like, if I was you, I'd be spinning this into a TV deal and stuff. He's like, yeah, I got the offer from like a studio and stuff. He's like, it's not really me. I don't really see myself even doing this in five years. And the whole time, I'm listening to this, this guy who just is literally in my dream position of being in a room with an amazing comedian who I would personally, I think I'd have the best time with. I would, I I would definitely crack drinks to hang out with Bert and just go like on stories and just crack so many jokes and you know what I mean? And like, if I was getting deals like that and I was offered like a show by da 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 da, like, you know what I mean? That's like, it's, that's everything that I've ever been like wanting over creating for five years just to have an opportunity to even get like a, a fourth of what this guy has in front of him. And I'll say this, he has a very unique character right he's a very strange looking dude uh he's like this really animated like cheat like the the knockoff version of ray romano but like he's cool um but i i get why he caught on but like in terms of his actual cooking content or anything like that i'll say like my years of creation definitely are a higher level than him. But that's because, like, I really, you know, he was doing it from a place of just, like, it is what it is. like, And they say that in life, that it's almost like the less you give a shit, the easier things come. Sometimes. 
And it's just like, I was listening to that podcast just dying, being like, you seem like you don't even care to be in the room with this guy, really. Like, you're very take it or leave it. And for me, I'm like, that's everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> is to get into rooms with people like that and just have opportunities to succeed and have like a fun life that I'm super interested in, super into and make awesome content and have awesome dialogue with people and, you know, enjoy food and jokes and storytelling and all that stuff. And it just comes back to the struggle bus city. It's like, why in life? For some people, it just, the red carpet just magically unfolds. And then for other people, it's like, like I know certain music artists that are amazing. It's like nobody knows of them. Like a very small people. And it's like, these people should be on top of the fucking charts, right? It's just weird how life works. So... Shout out to Kuj. He is dope. He's funny. He deserves his success for sure. But uh, I can't lie in saying that I I would just kill to be in the position that he was in with getting those opportunities. As far as collabing with other creators goes in the past, like, I know a lot of people used to do it, but I've never had the money. <laughs> I've never been successful enough to have really the money. Because life, right, is expensive. And then, on top of that, I wasn't even on anybody's radar enough for them to be really, like, inviting me out to collab. Like, anybody at the time that was ever quite big because I've never been huge right because generally speaking people collab with other people who are on their same level or a bit higher And I can't even get the 100k plaque yet. <laughs> I haven't cracked 100k yet. Which to me is bullshit. Honestly, at this point. I'm not afraid to say it either. And fuck anybody who says otherwise. Like, oh, your shit's not good enough to be... No, like... I've been doing this shit making, like, pretty hot shit. At least back then. Like... I should definitely be over 100k. Like, I should definitely have my plaque at this point. And I don't care if that sounds, like, not humble or whatever. Like, I'm just tired of being fucking humble. Because I know the work I've put in. <laughs> and I've compared my work to others. Who have like leaps and bounds ahead of me. And at this point, it's just plain fucking bullshit. So, I don't know. There is such a thing as being like <clears throat> too humble in this world. It's like people who are a little bit like abrasive and a bit assholes and too full of themselves like they seem to do just great Cooj isn't that though I'm not saying he's that I'm saying 
There's a lot of other people though. I'm sure a lot of us can think of at least some of them who they are. But it is what it is. It's just interesting how life works. And uh, just seeing people in the position that you kill to be in. And they're like, eh, whatever. <laughs> you're like, fuck. <laughs> Maybe I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm not destined for anything in this space either. Like, not in music, <laughs> not in food, not in entertainment. Not in podcasting, not in any of that. Maybe I'm just another, just another thing I tried and fucking fell on my face at. You know what I mean? Perfect. It's great. I don't know. I have no idea. Honestly, lately, I just feel like I'm meant for <laughs> nothing. Because everything I ever do doesn't really go anywhere substantial. But who knows anymore? I don't even know. I don't know what I'm destined for. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I have no idea what the fuck like where life is supposed to go anymore does nothing make sense <laughs> i just i don't and i don't even care about anything else who knows where i'm gonna end up but it ain't looking good I'll tell you that all right till the next one eat good live well stay true